we had what we believe is a survivor come forward. State Attorney R.J. Larizza says after Robert Hayes was identified in September as the suspected serial killer, a woman came to them to say Hayes attacked her during an encounter with him between 2005 and 2006 when three other women were found murdered in Daytona Beach. Ultimately she was able to escape but not before uh, th there was significant trauma and also threats. Mr. Larissa says her information should help bolster the case against Hayes of Palm Beach County, who's also charged in the 2016 murder of a woman there. Investigators say DNA and ballistics link Hayes to the murders in Daytona Beach. He was living in the area then, a student at Bethune-Cookman University who graduated with a degree in criminology. Investigators say at the same time, Hayes was hunting local women. Justice for these victims and closures for these families. That's the most important thing, and I'm just glad we got a dangerous killer off the streets. Laquita Gunther was the first victim found shot to death Christmas Eve 2005. Julie Green and Iwana Patton were found murdered the next year under almost identical circumstances. Investigators say new technology more than a decade later, including genetic genealogy, was key in connecting Hayes to the murders. You may think you got away with it, but we, let me tell you something, you ain't getting away with it because we're going to come and get you. Law enforcement is never going to quit. State Attorney Larissa says the grand jury returned three murder indictments against suspect Hayes. He also said... We will be filing our notice of intent to seek the death penalty today. A fourth woman, Stacy Gage, was found murdered in early 2008, badly decomposed. Investigators are still working to determine if she, too, was a victim of the accused serial killer. In Volusia County, Claire Matz, West 2 News.